Did you know that you can make money off of investing in your favorite music artists? Stick around and I'll tell you how right after this. Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host Ben and I'm bringing you guys a new series called Abnormal Investing and we're going to take a look at different ways you can invest outside of the stock market and cryptos and those more traditional ways of investing. So if you want to follow along with this series and you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you enjoy this video halfway through or at some point, just smash that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. So let's not waste any more time. How can you invest in your favorite music artist? Well, I bring you Royalty Exchange Dot com. Now they are not a sponsor, but if you are interested royalty exchange in some of that, hit me up. But anyway, we're going to be going through their site. I already have an account with them, so we'll take a look at some of the investments that you can make and the possible returns on those investments. So of course, always do your own due diligence first and research this, but I just found it as an interesting platform for a new way of investing that you may never have thought of before. So as you can see right here on the home page, and you can see this is the marketplace for buying and selling royalties. If you don't know what royalties are, that is what artists get paid every time their song is played on radio stations, commercials, etc., and so on. So big artists like say Michael Jackson, who's, still, who's not alive right now, is still getting royalty checks from his music that gets played at the Super Bowl and everywhere else. Now, of course, he's not getting it, but his family's getting it, but that's what a royalty is. So you can actually buy and sell the royalty contracts from these artists or other people who's bought the royalty contracts already in the secondary market, which we'll go over, and get paid something similar to a dividend in the stock market for holding these royalties. So you can buy royalties, you can also raise money. I'm not sure about the raising money part, but you can look down here. They've got good things said from ABC News, Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Bloomberg, Rolling Stone, Billboard, and CNN. And here was some of their recent auctions that just closed. And you can see some of these prices are pretty high. Like this Listerine mouthwash sales royalty went for $254,000. So let's just check into that. Let's just click in there real quick and see what it was. So then it even tells you the top bid right there. And then you get your overview. The starting price was 120. So you actually paid double that. And it's the term of life of rights. And they have everything laid out pretty well to where you can find out what things mean if you're not familiar with them. But you can see investors purchase the right to collect royalty income from the asset for the life of the seller's interest in the comp copyright. So on this one, you do have the life of rights. So you have it pretty much until the day you die or that stops making money or whatever. But there are some that does have shorter time periods for the term of holding those contracts. And another thing is artists can buy these back. There's a clause within royalty exchanges platform that says if an artist wants to buy the royalties back because it was their royalties, they can, but they do have to buy it at the market price. They cannot buy it for cheaper than whatever the going price is. So something to be aware of, but if the royalties are making good money, it shouldn't be a big concern if they buy it back from you. That means you'll probably make a nice return on your investment. So that's just something to be aware of. But you can see here, the starting price is 120,000 bidding increments, $650, doubled that starting price. So very nice. And you can see in the last 12 months, so the past year, this royalty paid out $13,000. So the APY on this, 10% of 250,000 would be 25,000. So the 12 month royalties were 13,000. So that's about 5%. So 5% a year gain on this possibly for life. Very nice, not a bad investment if you've got that type of money. And you see it's distributed by Johnson & Johnson for their mouthwash. And you get the sales royalties. That's, that's pretty interesting too. And you got the world royalty holder. 
And you do see there, you got a 1% of closing price or 500, whichever is greater for the buyer's fees. So you do have commissions on this. That's how Royalty Exchange makes their money. And then you see there, you actually do get a little bonus on this one. Investor placing the opening bid on any listing, don't pay the buyer fee if they win the resulting auction. So you actually can get around that if you're the first one to bid. So that's pretty neat. And you see you can become a Royalty Exchange All Access Investor to waive auction fees and enjoy additional exclusive benefits. If you want to dive into that, you can. I am not uh, one of their All Access Investors, I don't think. I just have pretty much the basic account that probably is going to cost a little money to be able to get that all access. But you can see here's the description of this asset. This is a very unique asset with a nearly 140 year earning history, producing monthly payments for the lifetime of this brand. The royalty income is derived from what's been called one of the most remarkable business transactions in U.S. business history. As of the winning bidder, you'll own royalty interest in the gross global sales of Listerine antiseptic mouthwash. So this one's not even for music. I thought maybe it was for music for the commercials or the songs, but this is for the actual global sales of Listerine mouthwash. So that's a pretty good royalty. So obviously there's some more than just music on this site. So that's pretty cool to see. And then you got all this other information you can check out on there. They give you, they give you quite a bit of information to be an investor. And we go to investors here, you can see uncorrelated yield, passive income. And this is passive income because once you buy it, you don't have to do anything with it. As long as those royalties are making money, you are going to make money. And you see they got average of 10% ROI. That's pretty good. Got a little message there. Uh, they've had a thousand plus transactions completed and 84 million in transaction volume. So this is pretty early on for a website like this before i think only accredited investors had access to being able to invest in music royalties or sales royalties like that listerine one but now you don't have to be an accredited investor with royalty exchange so there's going to be some unique opportunities that doesn't mean that you need to hop on here and buy your favorite rapper song or something like that because you want to do the research with any type of investment you want to do your due diligence i would definitely say that there is some good opportunities on this site and we'll dive a little bit further in and look at my account at the actual auctions to see what's up for auction here in just a little bit so yeah you can see here they got music movies trademarks and then you can see there they're just trying to sell you on putting royalties in your portfolio which looking at them, some of them are not a bad idea. Some of them could be pretty good. And you see fu funds focused on music royalties are gaining traction as investors stray from the beaten path in a hunt for a yield. And that was from the Wall Street Journal in 2019. And then it just explains how it all works. So if you want to read all this, you can. You can check it out on the site. And you can create a free royalty exchange account. And that's what I did. So we're going to hop over there real quick and now we're on my account you can see my names right there and here's the feature listings right now we have some publishing royalties from machine gun kelly's bloom uh publishing royalties from mac miller and wiz khalifa from cage the elephant that's a rock band and then you you've got global stuff too like this is probably kigo let's see i don't know how to say this kigo's platinum hit stole the show it's got a 10 year on there and you can see these prices range quite dramatically. So you, you may be looking at this first page and be like, wow, this you have to have a lot of money to invest, but it's not necessarily true. So let's dive into the exchange here and see what we've actually got going on here. All right, so pretty simple platform. You can see right here, you got your listings. So let's scroll down here, see if we can find some cheaper ones. Right here's our listing price. And then you can see right there, the last 12 months of earnings for these royalties that they have earned. The, there you have this analyst benchmark. You got to be one of the all access members to get that. <clears throat> you can see right there. But they give you some extra stuff. That's what the benefits were. And then you can see over here the offers that these actually have. But let's see if we can find any cheaper ones than these very, very high priced ones. Actually, I think you can, yeah, sort by, let's see, lowest list price. So that way we can see what we got here. All right, so you can see right here, got some 
life of rights from Christina DeBarge and more. This list price is at 4,000. Let's actually go to it and check it out here. So 4,500 is what they got the list price the last 12 months. It earned $1,400. Average three year earnings is about $800. And there's 30 tracks that you get the life of rights for the uh, royalties for. And so this is from BMI. BMI and ASCAP are some of the main royalty companies in America and the globe. So you're getting them directly from these companies a lot of times. But there is a secondary market where you can trade with other people who are investors as well like yourself. And then you can see right here the breakdown of the source of earnings. International sources made about $13.65, $29 on satellite radio, $25 on online streaming, and a dollar for one retail play. So, you know, the investment's about $4,500, and you're not looking at like a whole ton of money that you're going to make off this. So, one of the things that I'm interested in is if the royalties have been growing or shrinking, because with music, it's really hit or miss sometimes with songs. You'll have one hit wonders and those songs might play for a good couple of years, but then they can just disappear forever. So if that's the case, then there's not going to be much money to be made on that. So you kind of want some of these that would be growing, uh, maybe newer artists who could become more popular and that their songs could get played more and more instead of you know going for something that may not be getting that much play. So we can see right here the actual years of earnings. And we see in 2008, it was at 800. And then the last four, three years there, the royalties were pretty low. And then 2020 was actually a very nice year for it. So there is some growth that for some reason. I don't know what it is because I have no idea about the specific song and the assets within it because there's 30 tracks. But that's why you want to do your own due diligence and research before you purchase any investment, not just these. And you can see where the sources are coming from here too. Internet, streaming, AM, FM, and satellite radio, TV, film, commercial performances, and etc. There's gonna have to be some strategy to this. And I'm sure after messing with it for a couple of months, you can probably get a good idea of what could be hot and what could be not. You might be able to find some decent investments. I think it's, I think it's really cool, but let's go check out some of these other ones. So right here, I, this one's for seven thousand. Let's check this one out because Busta Rhymes, Juvenile, Slim Thug, and more. I grew up on on a lot of that rap music, Busta Rhymes and Juvenile especially. And of course, that's older music now. Busta Rhymes, I think, is in his fifties. So I don't know how much longer his music will continue, but I would say he's probably in the top twenty, top thirty discussion of best rappers all time i would say that his music might stick around so you know you've got to you got to know what you're investing in so you definitely want to check into it but for seven thousand dollars and made 1200 the last 12 months and the three-year average earnings are 1257 and then you can see right there the sources break down just like the other one here's what I want to see is it growing or is it slowing down so 2018 876 17 1000 2018 1100 so you can see it has actually grown a little bit so you don't get the copyrights on this but you do get the royalties and this one's being distributed from ASCAP and then you can actually see the songs that are a part of this so you got Slim Thugs the interview Juvenile Juvie the Great and Buster Rhymes been through the storm let's see actually there's 27 tracks so those are like the three main ones i guess uh looks like there's a snoop dogg song in there too so that's interesting this is definitely an interesting one it's interesting to me anyway because like i said these are some of the artists i grew up on but then you can see that this also has a 10-year term remaining and not a lifetime reward. So you'll only be able to hold this for 10 years. But if it continues to earn, you know, 1200, that's a pretty decent return because your list price is 7,000. 10% of 7,000 would be 700. So you're actually getting over 10% return a year with this royalty. So this may not be a bad royalty to hold on to. 
And so you got other things too right here, like the life of rights to the theme music for ABC's America this morning. You know, depending on what cable TV and ABC does, that could stick around for a while and make you some money. It's only 10000 and it's made almost 1500 in the last year, so that's not too bad. Got some Chris Brown right there, T.I. Meek Mill, Eminem. Very nice. You got rising hip-hop artist Russ. So this is probably a newer artist, and this is what I was talking about. Maybe looking into new artists that possibly could get more popular and their songs could get more play, which would mean more money for your royalties. So that's something to think about. And I know as you can see, there's a lot of different, there's a lot of rap stuff, but there's also all types of other stuff here. You can see this is strong international royalties for Ralph Gum and the Chemical Brothers. I have no idea what that is. Here's alt rock performance, pop and R&B. Got Ariana Grande and Tank. You have Indies electronics artist Mux Mool, another international pop featuring an Australian artist. And you can see there's so many of them. It list just goes on and on. A lot of them for sale. Uh, let's see, we're in the exchange. Here's the private syndicates. I haven't looked at this yet, so we're going to read this, see what this is. They are how we bring top tier iconic catalogs to the royalty exchange investor community. For each catalog, we create an LLC that collects royalties from the catalog and pays out an equity interest to investors in the syndicate. See, unlike the royalty exchange auctions, private syndicates give investors the flexibility to take a position size in each catalog that best suits their investment preferences. What's more, they allow more than one investor to participate in the same asset without losing out to the higher bidder. So basically, they've kind of broke it down to like a company with stock. That's why they've made it an LLC and you get dividend payments for buying into it. So here's Cage the Elephant. The syndicate size is $3.5 million. Offered investors the chance to buy an equity interest in the composition copyright and associated royalty income of a music catalog spanning four studio album releases from Grammy-winning American rock band Cage the Elephant. And they are a good band. I like some Cage the Elephant for sure. This included mechanical, public performance, sync and print royalty streams administered by the largest music publisher in the world by market share, Sony ATV. So if you want to get into some of these where it's more like a stock and you just invest some money, that is a possibility too with this website, which is really cool. So here's the raise money part. This is for artists. So if you're already an artist who has a following and you want to sell your royalties this is a possibility you can do and actually check out some offers see if you get offers for your royalties and you can see some of the success stories publishing royalties for the doobie brothers classic hit blackwater one hundred and sixty thousand uh, dollars jay-z songwriter royalties for empire state of mind got a slipknot one there uh, rihanna so if you're an artist, maybe an idea for you to try to make some money off your music that you were not aware of. So overall, I definitely think there's going to be some opportunities within this platform to make some nice passive income if you've got the extra money to invest. But do your own research. Make sure you're buying in to something that is going to make you a good return and is not just going to drop off I don't care who your favorite artist is, if they are not making money or they're not popular anymore, probably not a good investment, so don't base it on that. Actually look at the statistics and the payouts and make sure you're getting your money's worth. If you want to sign up for Royalty Exchange, there will be a link in the description below. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little sneak peek into Royalty Exchange, and if you want to see more out of the box abnormal investing content like this go ahead and make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you know when a new video comes out because we're going to keep diving into other ways that you may not know about 